Hey guys, I found some drawings from two years ago, which I thought you'd like to see. Well, two since the last one, or it might have been just before then. But um, yeah, this, these are requested drawings from my friends, which I did for them. Um, this is actually my third time at trying to film it because I kept coming up with little problems like my phones went off or that happened where I just forget to speak. And last time it was because I spoke too early. So here we go. Um, I'm going to flick through them really fast, pause them when you want to, um, on the ones you want to see, just so it's a shorter video. Okay, uh, the, you can, as I've already been saying, which you probably, it doesn't seem like I've said it, because this is a bloody third attempt, oh, um, you can see my improvement from what I was doing before. To what I'm doing now, and yes, that's to do with practice, but I also think it's got something to do with the equipment I used, because with this, it w it's watercolor pad, which is not ideal for drawing. It's more for watercolors, as you can kind of guess. Um, we'll come back to this one in a minute, um, and I recommend getting some really good equipment. Pay pay a little bit more than what you would. Don't get cheap stuff, and practice on that because it's a lot better. Well, practice on these things to get the idea first and then when you feel ready um, go out and buy some better stuff. This is what I use. I use wait, focus, 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 focus there we go. Uh, six pure graf graphite sticks from D. Rich Smith which I'll, and I also use a putty rubber which is good for getting into little points because you can just mould it. Um, and that's handy. And you got, I got that from WH Smith as well. Now, to what I'm drawing right now, I thought I'd show you the comparison. Uh, can you see? I'm holding it away from me. That's about two years difference. And I think a lot of it's to do with the equipment. So if you want to become a drawer, pay out. And because some of you wanted to see my Super Beauty Nerd drawing as well, I'll put it up here now, because I forgot to, oh, I forgot to say, I forgot to um, put it at the end of the video on the slide. So here we go, that's the drawing. Oh, wait, it's not all of it. There you go. Make sure it's in focus. Okay. And this is what I'm doing at the moment, which is identity, and it's, I'm doing death. And the reason why there's a baby face be behind it is because that's the beginning of li uh, life, which is the opposite to death. So, yeah. And it, this is just a brainstorm. That's why it's got loads of, like, decapitating and illness. And there's also skinning. There you go. That's the one I thought of. I had a dream about that once, about someone ripping the, face of so uh, the skin of someone's face. And just playing about with it in their hand. Oh, too close. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys next time and I'll leave you with an outro of Super Beauty Nerd drawing. Bloop! Bye!